Hey guys, it's S. Cohen here. I am showing you the jailbreak for iOS 4.1 with Red Snow. Um, link will be provided for you in the description. So, I uh, downloaded Red Snow already, which is right here. So, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak. So, we're going to explore. And here we have Redstone. Uh, before I get to that, this jailbreak is for only the iPod Touch 2G, MB, and MC. MC uh, iPod Touch will be tethered, uh, and iPhone 3G. Uh, do not do this if you rely on a carrier unlock. So if you're still with your original iPhone carrier, uh, should be fine. Uh, so. What I have is a iPod Touch 2G MB. So I'll show you guys that I am running iOS 4.1. So it's right there. And it is an MB model. Okay. So I have uh, downloaded Redstone already. Uh, also, another thing, uh, very, very important, make sure you back up everything, okay? Um, if you have the MC models, you're going to want to use Tiny Umbrella, which is, I already have also, to back up your SHSH blob. Um, it was very important, or else you'll be stuck on 4.1. If you accidentally upgrade to 4.2 in the future, uh, Red Snow uh, 0.9.6 does not have the Shatter exploit. Um, so, this is just for the 4.1 software version. So, we are going to show you. So, we're going to open up Red Snow. So, first step, you're going to locate your iOS 4.1 software. I have it saved mine to desktop. No, sorry, some jailbreak. Yeah, there we go. So, right there, you got 4.1. So, now it's going to go processing firmware. Alright, now this is also a very important step, uh, so it asks you if this is an MC model iPod Touch 2G, um, if it's not then click no, if it is click yes, if you do the wrong thing, uh, you'll have to do a complete restore and try again. As you see here, uh, MC models cannot have a custom boot logo and they require a tethered boot on its uh, power up. Well, mine say MB, so I'm going to click No. Now we're going to click Next. So, you need internet connection at all times for this.
my iPod Touch is already jailbroken. I did it already. So as you can see, uh, I'm gonna go here. I do have Rock Cydia and install it. So I'm not gonna re jailbreak it because there's no need for that. Instead, I'm gonna show you. It's the same process, but I'll show you anyway. Uh, so I'm not gonna install Cydia. I want to install the enable the battery percentage and multitasking uh, custom boot logo here's uh... so if you have one it's uh... you have to make sure that it fits your screen so if you find the dimensions on that the uh, resolution online so i'm gonna go to... i already created one here and i'm going to make a custom recovery add that Okay, uh, verbose boot, that is something that's uh, pretty amusing. On startup, you will, uh, your iPod will show you what it's doing. Um, it's amusing, but really pointless. So I'm not going to enable that. And um, home wallpaper. Uh, if you don't have the fast iPod touch from late 2009, uh, well, it's going to be very slow, so we're going to skip out on that. Alright, so follow the steps here. So, it tells us to turn off the iPod, so we're going to do that. So it tells us to turn it off and it has to be plugged in to your computer, okay? So we're gonna click next. So you gotta hold on the home button and the power button and then you hold the home button, okay, for the required time. Okay, I messed up. So we're gonna try this again. I have to wait for this to boot. Well, anyway, um, you can see that I do have a custom boot logo already put in. Um, so instead of the stock Apple one, you could have your own. Okay. So just gonna. All right. So I messed up. Sorry, guys. So, let's try this again. We're gonna power off. All right. Now here we go. So hold on power button. Now you hold on the home button at the same time. And now release power button and hold the home button there we go so now we are uploading the first stages I believe there are three stages to this jailbreak and it was all done on its own I can guarantee that this jailbreak will work guaranteed for the iPod Touch 2G MB model. So, any others, I am not guaranteeing that it will work 100%. At the moment, some sources for Cydia are not working.
this may be a temporary thing or it might be a bad source that is included in the jailbreak. So we'll just have to wait and see. So we're waiting for reboot and you can see that it is not on. And it should do this on its own. Okay, well, there seems to be a problem with my computer, it's not the software. Alright, so, anyway, just going to cancel that. Alright, um, once your jailbreak is done, uh, on your iPod, you will have, um, uh, you'll see that it will do all the other steps already. And once that is done, you will have a fully jailbroken iPod Touch 2G. So that is all for now. And I will keep you posted. And I will make another video when the Shatter exploits uh, with Green Poison will be released.